The Crusades, The Authoritative History of the War for the Holy Land, by Thomas Asbridge is a comprehensive and detailed historical account of the Crusades, a series of religiously motivated military campaigns initiated by Western Christians in the medieval period to reclaim and defend the Holy Land from Muslim control. The book covers the entire span of the Crusades, from their inception in the 11th century to their ultimate decline in the 13th century. Here is a summary of the key points and themes explored in Thomas Asbridge's The Crusades, 1. Background and Motivations Asbridge provides the historical context leading up to the Crusades. He explores the deep religious fervor and sense of pilgrimage among Western Christians, particularly after the Seljuk Turks captured Jerusalem in 1071, leading to concerns about the safety of Christian pilgrims in the Holy Land, 2. The First Crusade The book delves into the launching of the First Crusade in 1096, in response to Pope Urban II's call for a holy war to liberate Jerusalem. Asbridge narrates the journey of the Crusaders to the east, their successful capture of Jerusalem in 1099, and the establishment of the Crusader states. 3. The Second and Third Crusades Asbridge covers the subsequent Crusades, including the Second Crusade led by European monarchs, which ended in failure, and the Third Crusade, featuring prominent figures like Richard the Lionheart of England and Saladin, the Muslim military leader. The Third Crusade resulted in a truce, allowing Christian pilgrims access to Jerusalem. 4. Later Crusades and Challenges the book continues with an examination of the later Crusades, such as the Fourth Crusade, which saw the sack of Constantinople rather than a direct attack on the Holy Land, and subsequent attempts to reclaim Jerusalem. 5. Military and Political Complexity Asbridge delves into the military and political complexities of the Crusades. He discusses the various Crusader armies, their strategies, alliances, and rivalries with other European powers and Muslim states. 6. The Rise and Fall of Crusader States the book follows the fortunes of the Crusader states established in the Levant, including the Kingdom of Jerusalem, the County of Tripoli, the Principality of Antioch, and the County of Edessa. Asbridge explores the challenges these states faced in maintaining their territories amidst hostilities from neighboring Muslim forces. 7. Decline and Legacy The book concludes by discussing the gradual decline of the Crusader states and the eventual collapse of their presence in the Holy Land. Asbridge reflects on the long-term legacy of the Crusades in shaping the relationship between the Western and Muslim worlds, as well as the impact on subsequent historical events. In conclusion, The Crusades, The Authoritative History of the War for the Holy Land, by Thomas Asbridge is a comprehensive and insightful account of the Crusades. The book presents a nuanced and well-researched examination of this pivotal period in medieval history, offering readers a deeper understanding of the motivations, struggles, and consequences of these religiously inspired military campaigns.